As a matter of fact, I am most likely late to these news, but I just recently read through them and I have some thoughts that I want to give on the new Elder God Wars 3 node on front update that is live today. I'm actually recording this the night before, but I'm going to be uploading this video over the day of the release. So these updates will most likely be in the game or will be released into the game just a few hours after this video goes up. So. I was looking through this and you can read along with me in this video and I am not the best PVMer in the game at all. I am decent, I can do some decent stuff like 160% Telos and you know I can do Araxi fine and all those bosses. So let's just go through these first, the very first one is just the Slayer creatures that's going to be introduced. There's going to be melee range and magic ones that are for 92 plus Slayers of course. There's going to be one of these, maybe the Ranger or the melee that is for 92 and then maybe the Magicker for 95 or something like that. And then also you can uh, fight these like uh, I don't know cannon things or constructions and if you have 90 plus in construction you can actually probably make them fight for you it says may be able to turn your we their weapons against them so you probably don't need those 90 construction to be able to destroy them but it is if you want to use them in fight also it says that the gods of the first god wars will be able to give you some buffs as well during this area or when you're in the area and this is the new look of the cannon not too interesting for me but this is what i am interested in and want to talk about so, this boss will have three phases on normal and four on hard mode. And it is going to be about the rewards I want to talk. So the first one is the Ability Codex Greater Concentrated Blast. Now, when looking through what this actually does, it tells a lot. It uh, has some, of course, just straight up damage boost, which is pretty nice. I mean, 70% from 48% as lowest and 290 from 246. Pretty decent increase, I would say. But it also says, for every hit uh, channeled, gain 5% critical strike chance for your next ability. This is kind of important because it says for every hit channeled, and usually you would cancel this on the second hit instead of doing the full 3 hits. But this is now going to miss out, if you do that, if you only hit 2 times and you skip on the third one, that is a bit slower, then you're going to miss out on 5% crit. I can't say if it's going to be worth it or not, but you are going to be missing out on that 5% if you cancel on the second hit. And I think the crit thing is going to be what they're going for in this update for magic. They want to build like magic around full on crit. Crit is going to be the magic build for the high tier is what it seems like. So the staff is, the, is this one, the upgraded staff of Armadil, and it is pretty interesting what the special attack is. And as I said before, the crit thing is definitely the theme. So, instability. Launch an unstable blast at your target for 50 to 200% weapon damage, which might be pretty good because, I mean, it's a tier 95, so the weapon damage might be pretty relevant. So it's it sounds like a normal attack, I guess. Maybe not that hard or uh, hitting that hard, but it's decent damage, I guess. But the effect... Each time you land a critical strike against your opponent in the next 30 seconds, which is a pretty long time, your staff will fire an extra spell. That's super interesting, because then all of a sudden that 5% crit from the concentrated blast that you get from channeling the full thing extra and the 15% overall is going to be a huge increase if you use this staff. It's going to be so interesting to uh, see how this uh, pans out. And also the wrist wraps, which is the gloves that is just a blue version visually of the Cinderbane gloves. Were these gloves and for 6 seconds after using the Dragon Breath ability, the Combust ability will deal 25% more damage and deal it instantly. I feel like you can understand this in two different ways. Either that the combust ability will deal 25% more damage during the entire duration and it will deal the first tick of it instantly. Or you can assume that the entire combust will deal its damage instantly and be 25% stronger. So for example if it takes 300 and it would take 10 times that would be 3000 damage over the entire duration. But with this, you can either say that it's going to deal 3000 damage instantly, plus of course 25%, 
or that it's going to be the entire buff is going to go up by 25%, which is then 375 damage every single tick for the entire duration. So it's pretty interesting how that's going to work. I'm not sure what it means 100%, but I guess we'll see. And then, well, straight up, it's just a DPS increase. That's all I really want to say about that. It's just a DPS increase, but still, will it be better than Cinderbane Gloves? I guess we'll see. Now, the Scripture of Jazz is the last item I want to talk about. And it seems like a pretty interesting book. I actually haven't used the books a lot, the God books in general. I think the Armadale book is like the best of them, and I have it, but I haven't used it that much. It seems pretty good though when it procs, but it doesn't really proc that often from my experience. But let's read into this book. 5 prayer bonus and 8 plus to all styles. Seems pretty basic for illuminated God books. I think there are 7 maybe. I'm not exactly sure how much they are, but the very important part is of course the special ability, and I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to assume that it works like the other god books, which is you activate the book, and randomly it will proc the time rift in this case, with the armadillo book it was like the tornado damage thing, but this one is for 10 seconds all damage from abilities is added up, then 20% of damage is fired off against your current target. This seems really strong, but it's all down to how often it procs. If it procs super often, like let's say it procs two times per minute, then it's going to be a 33% uptime on 20% damage increase, basically. But if it only procs like once a minute, then it's not going to be as good, but it's still going to be pretty good. I wouldn't say it's going to be bad in any way, because if you do during these 10 seconds, let's say you deal 2000 damage every second, that's going to be 20,000 damage and that's going to be a 4000 instant hit when the book proc ends. So it's just going to be free damage. And compare that to the Armadillo book, yeah you can probably get one proc every minute that does more than 4000 damage from the Armadillo book, but is it going to be proccing more than that or less than that? I'm not sure. We will just have to see what the proc rate of it is. But if it's pretty good, I would say this is definitely a very strong ability. So the last thing about the book is that the book itself can only be acquired from the boss, but the pages can be dropped by enemies on the node on front. Now this is very interesting, especially for me that play an Iron Man. On a main account this won't matter that much, you can just buy the pages for the Armadillo book or whatever book you want to use, including this one. But for an Iron Man, doing clue scrolls for the pages is very RNG of course, what pages you get. You have to get the Armadillo pages if you want to use the Armadillo book and so on. And sometimes you're just unlucky and you just don't get any of the pages you want. But for this one, you can actually go and kill specific monsters that drop those specific pages. So for an Iron Man, I cannot see how this book is not going to be the best overall for all occasions. Maybe there's like a, a few percentage better damage with the Armadillo book, but for the long run, if you're going to do so much bossing on an Iron Man, I cannot see you ever going for up the upkeep of the Armadillo book compared to just this book. Unless, of course, the pages of this book is like mega rare, but it would have to be very rare for me to rather go and do like hundreds of clue scrolls for one hour of the uh, Armadillo book than, uh, you know, getting the pages from these monsters probably a lot faster for like maybe 1% or even maybe this book is even better than the Armadillo book, but even if it isn't, I would say this is a super solid second choice. What I do feel like they are doing with this update is that they are looking at ranged and their procs in criminal bolts and trying to give magic an interesting alternative to that and making magic actually a competitor. So let's think about the Ruby by Criminal Bolts that proc extra damage, or for example the Poison ones, I think it's the Emerald by Criminal Bolts, they proc a lot of small damage hits all the time, like super consistently, and then the Hydrix ones are just giving more uh, adrenaline. But let's take a look at the Ruby ones for the main part. They just proc extra damage randomly when you DPS, it's just a 100% free damage extra increase uh, output. There's no downside, the bots are not worse, they're for tier 99, uh, and they just randomly proc more damage at the cost of some health, but people don't really care about that health loss, it's so minor. But what they're doing here is just uh, making magic basically crit like crazy, of course doing a bit more damage as well, 
and then this staff just makes it proc even more off that crit. So if you get really high crit, you get biting on this weapon, you have even more base crit. And then you crit like crazy, it will just proc extra damage, just like Ruby per Criminal Bolts. And these gloves, of course, just gives you a higher damage output on the combustibility. Sounds pretty good to me. And, uh, you know, the uh, last thing, the scripture of Jazz, is uh, technically for all styles. So that doesn't really put magic in a better spot. It's just balanced, probably, for all the specs. And uh, it's uh, an additional hit. So if you have this book, you have the staff, you have the concentrated blast, you get the crit from this and you use the special ability on the staff, you are going to see so many hits, proc on proc on proc on proc on proc, that magic might actually be a competitor to ranged. It would be very interesting to see the meta changed or changed organically. Not just, uh, you know, them nerfing the criminal bolts or anything like that. I like the way that they're thinking, putting new items in the game that are interesting without having to nerf the already good stuff. I do think that's a good way of uh, actually handling these things. But that is going to do it for this video. I would love to hear what you guys think about this update. Do you think magic is going to be the new god tier DPS spec? Or is ranged still going to be the dominant force? I do think that it's probably going to be ranged staying as the dominant force. But you never know. We will have to see. This is definitely super good steps in the right direction. And maybe in the Elder God Wars overall, we will get even more magic buffs that is going to tip the scales into magic's favor hope you guys did enjoy the video see you in the next one guys take care